New at 5, when San Francisco High School has expanded its curriculum beyond reading, writing, and arithmetic to include building whole new worlds in the digital space. KTV's Christian Captain takes us inside Balboa High School, where students are designing their own video games. Is your computer missing? Inside San Francisco's Balboa High School, students in Mr. Peary's class are hard at work building video games. Make no mistake, while these games may be fun to play, designing them is hard work. And that includes programming and it includes making the digital art assets for like players, enemies, um, backgrounds and stuff like that, as well as sound effects and background music. So we got to make all that stuff and then we put it into our game and then we have to write the code to make it work. Like he prints something. Zach Byra and David Zhang are working on a game tentatively called Crypt of the Silver Phoenix. Gameplay includes battling monsters that turn to stone and a never-ending maze of rooms to navigate. Everything is happening in this game engine. So we've got a randomly generated room structure which so that it'll be never it, it will never be the same whenever no matter how many times you play through it. The project is part of the school's pathways program. All of the students here at Balboa High School focus on a 21st century career path. Students in the gaming program learn important skills from coding to problem solving. Zhang says their entire team has been working on one issue after another, debugging line after line of code to make their game work. We get a new problem like every hour and we talk <laughs> about it and we talk about it and then we fix it and then, oh hey there's a new problem so it's just constantly you know we get that experience. And just like professional game developers these students are facing a hard deadline. The game developer conference is underway in San Francisco right now and on Thursday these students are going to have a chance to show off their project projects to the pros and get some tips on how to proceed. We did have an issue where whenever we tried to work on the game, on my computer it would just crash like immediately and we haven't fixed that. We've we're hoping that at GDC we could talk to the people who are behind Godot, you know, maybe figure out what's going on. Mr. Peary says while he teaches the class, his students consistently come up with innovative solutions on their own that he never would have considered. He says watching that spark of innovation is one of the joys of teaching this class. Peary says the experience these students are getting will serve them whether they pursue a career in game design or not. But I tell them over and over that what I'm really teaching you is independent creative problem solving. And whether you work in tech, whether you work in games, or you do something else, everybody wants independent creative problem solvers. Teachers here say this program could be replicated in any school district and hope to see more students take a serious look at a career in gaming. Christian Kafton, KTVU, Fox 2 News.